What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. How is everybody doing? Hope you've been doing well. I have been doing great. James, how you been doing? James says he's been doing great and he's doing the mannerisms of great. <laughs> There's the beautiful Indian Scout as you guys know and love on the channel. It's an amazing bike. James loves it. I don't think it's ever going to leave the channel unless he gets a uh, Indian challenge. Is that a challenger? Ch no, you want the challenger. You want the you want the big dog. <laughs> we have something new on the channel as well. Would you look at that? We have ourselves a 2017 Triumph Bobber. That's right. I've had this bike now, uh, I hate to tell you guys, probably like seven months or so. <laughs> very cool. Something I've been looking for for a very long time. Absolutely love the style of these bikes. I know, I know I'm not a uh, hipster, but <laughs> um, this style is definitely something that appealed to me. I like the naked look. If you guys remember, I actually made a Yamaha Bolt into a bobber. Take a look at this picture right here. That bike was, let's just put it this way, atrocious. Uh, I never put a rear fender on it. I never really fully got it done, but this is actually pretty done. Now, I've had it for, you know, six or seven months, so with typical Urban Moto fashion, I may uh, get rid of it. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. We're going to look at something new this year, but this has the 1200cc uh, Triumph motor. We're going to go for a ride in just a minute. Actually, we are at the lake today. It's the beginning of March. It's like 70 degrees. It's beautiful today. Perfect day for a ride. James and I have committed this year that we are going to be on the bikes a little bit more and we are going to ride more and we're going to have some trips crossing fingers this year that we will get on and uh, bring you guys along for the ride. But anyway, all that to say, I've missed you all. Thank you all for sticking around, some of you. Uh, hopefully you enjoy this video. What are we doing today, James? We're basically just going to go get a adult beverage and uh, I'm getting stalked by this, uh, by this Cadillac here, which is cool. And a couple things going on that you'll see in the next few months with uh, work on the Urban Moto Garage. So with that, let's get on the bikes. Let's go for a ride. We're going to hit up, uh, what is it called, James? Eagle's Nest or Eagle's Tree or Eagle's Branch or... No, that's not it. What is it? The Lake House. We're, gonna, we're going to the Lake House. Let's go get an adult beverage and then we'll hop on the bikes after. We'll do some lake riding. We'll talk about what's been going on. You ready, James? All right, we're going to go through the uh, dirt and dust and grime over here. You ready for that? All right. Nothing wrong with this at all. This is fine. Everything's fine. You know, it isn't as bad as when I took the uh, R7 on it. It was like worse. It looks more compacted. So yeah, guys, I don't know if you've ever ridden a uh, Triumph or anything, but these are just incredibly smooth motorcycles. The throttle is smooth, the brakes are smooth, the engine is buttery smooth. I absolutely love it. The problem is, it's too smooth for me. I want something that beats the ever-living out of me. Yeah, I just want something that has a little bit more personality, I would say. This bike runs great. It's super quick. We'll do a little, you know, 10 to 60 pull here in a second, but... Other than the speed and the look and the style, the riding experience is just kind of bland. All right, here's a little 10 to 60 pull, folks. So obviously, very quick, very fast. This thing basically weighs like 400, I think 460 pounds. I'll put it on the screen right here. but. Again, super smooth engine. These uh, 1200cc Triumph engines are just so butter. And the exhaust is stock on this. Everything is stock on this. It's a 2017. Uh, oh yeah, this is 1200 miles on this bike and it's a 2017. So this thing has never been ridden. It does have one small dent right here in the tank. Um, so, you know, that's just something to note if you guys uh, end up buying this bike. I know some of you have bought bikes from me in the past, so. All that to say, we are here. That was a quick ride to the lake house, but we're not done for the day. We're going to get back on the bikes. We are going to continue to ride for the rest of the afternoon until the evening. Right, James? One eternity later. How is everybody doing? I have missed you guys. It has been a while since we have been on the bikes with any time to chit chat with each other. And uh, I hope everybody is doing great. I hope everybody is being safe on two wheels and enjoying it, enjoying the beautiful weather. 
I have uh, not been on the bikes as much as I would like. Work and life have been uh, keeping me busy, so, you know, it is what it is. We did move to a new house back in September of this year, so that's been keeping me busy. And, uh, yeah, it's just been, just been good. We got the Triumph Bobber. She's doing good. Like this bike quite a bit, but like I said, I don't know if it's for me long term. Uh, the riding position is a little, you know, a little cramped. It's not super comfortable. The uh, stock seat on this Triumph is not super comfortable. I will say though, the the ride itself is uh, is really good though. The the throttle is so smooth. So yeah, as far as bikes, we still have we still have the Yamaha R7. Um, I'm going to do a video on that bike again soon. I know a lot of you guys like that bike quite a bit. I have the Triumph Bobber and I still have the DRZ 400 Supermoto. We're doing our standard lake ride today. Just kind of going on a cruise. Enjoying the weather. This bike is uh, deceivingly quick for only, uh, I think it has 77 horsepower. And I want to say like 80 foot pounds of torque. It's uh, it is deceptive. What I will say, the downside about this bike is the uh, gas. It only has, on average, uh, let's see here. I don't know if you guys can see that. 60 miles left to go on this tank. This bike has a, I think it's like a 1.4 gallon tank or something. It's like ridiculously small. When it's completely filled up, I think you get 70 miles on an entire tank. Now, that may be because of my riding style. That may be because of, you know, other extraneous factors. But, uh, yeah, it's a super, super tiny gas tank. You know, it did uh, fall from a standstill. So, like I said, this had that little bitty dent right there. There's a little scratch on the side over there. Uh, but other than that, this thing is absolutely immaculate. It has the little uh, crash bars on the side there. Short of that, it's completely stock. If I decide to keep this bike, I don't know. I may do some sort of exhaust to it or something, but I just don't know. I mean, it's 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 a fun bike to ride, but I just don't know if it's my style. I kind of am thinking about getting like a street bob or, you know, something that's a little bit more comfortable for long range riding. You know, with the three bikes that I have, they're really not built for <laughs> any sort of distance or any sort of uh, cruising, so to speak. You know, this is a get around town bike and the R7 is just, you know, for fun and the twisties and, and what it does. And then the DRZ, you know, is just a, a short stint bike also. But funny enough, the DRZ actually gets more distance on the freaking <laughs> tank of gas than this damn Triumph does, which is hilarious. Also, this thing is dusty as all get out. It's been sitting in my uh, Urban Moto garage for quite a while. So anyway, guys, I'm curious uh, now that we're at the lake again for the second time in this video. Yeah, anyway. What do you guys think about the bobber? Do you like the look of it? Do you hate the look of it? It's somewhat, you know, subjective for people. They're like, oh, I think it's really cool, or I really don't like it. Also, what do you guys think of Triumphs? I mean, on this channel, we've mostly had Japanese bikes. We've had the Suzukis, we've had the Yamahas. We've had, what's the other Japanese bike? Honda? We haven't had any, we haven't had any Hondas. <laughs> um, but, uh, have we had any Hondas? We had the Honda, we had James's Honda Shadow. But uh, short of that, um, we haven't had much. So what do you guys think about the uh, the British bikes on the channel? Do you like the look? Do you not like the look? Um, I love the uh, the exposed engine on this though. I like how it, uh, how it looks. Not a fan of the exhaust. Clearly, you know, the guy that had it before me rubbed his boot or something against the exhaust. So there's some stuff going on there. Um, it definitely needs a bath, as you can see. He put the uh, little bobber, you know, bag on there. Um, which is super close to the the muffler which again if I decide to keep this thing I would definitely do new mufflers uh, it does have Cobra tires on it which I am a big fan of but yeah this is this is basically her she's uh she looks great again like a thousand miles on this thing for a 2017 so essentially brand new so it's hard for me to be like oh I want to get rid of this um, I got this bike for a terrific price, so that's obviously the reason that I did it. What do you guys think about the uh, Triumph on the channel? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you not even care? Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. We're going to hop on the bikes. We're going to get going. We're going to go to House of Blades, and uh, let's go. All right, guys, so I think we're wrapping up this video around House of Blades. I just wanted to get in touch with you guys, say hello. James wanted to say hello as well, and I uh, hope you guys are doing great. 
Uh, if you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I promise you there's going to be more videos in 2024. And click that bell to get notified when more videos come out. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. Later.